Palestinian activist Rasmia O'Day went before an appellate court today on the charges of unlawful procurement of naturalization. She's accused of giving false information on her U.S. citizenship. Over 100 protesters from across the U.S. took to the streets of Cincinnati in support of the 67-year-old Palestinian native. My name is Mark Snyderman. I'm a member of Jewish Voice for Peace. Uh, members that are here today and across the country are honored to stand with each of you and Rosmia and her team today in solidarity, adding our voice to this determined chorus. JVP, its members, and people of many different faith traditions know this court can work justice. And we call clearly, explicitly, for it to take the only appropriate action. Rosmia's conviction must be thrown out, nothing less. Unless we're together, and unless we are putting pressure on the courts to let them know that we will not accept anything less than a victory, then we know that they have a habit of miscarrying justice. O'Day is believed to have been targeted by the federal government because of her leading role in the Arab American Action Network and steadfast dedication to social justice in the Chicago Arab community. She was arrested on the morning of October the 22nd, 2013 by Homeland Security and later convicted in March 2015. And so people have to be asking, how the hell is that possible? Why would they be going after Rosmiya Oda 20 years after she came to this country and saying she got in illegally? Why would that be happening? Well, the reason we believe it happened, there are two reasons. The main one is that she's a Palestinian and that she represents everything about Palestine. She's a refugee, she's a political prisoner, she's a woman. Rasmia and her supporters feel the hearing went good and justice will be served ultimately with her acquittal. The ruling should come down in the next two to four months.